So the brand new S25 Ultra, one of its great features is of course, feature that's very limited to only really Samsung phones. I always wish more Android phones would do it, but there's not a lot to do it, and that is DeX. What is DeX? DeX can be found. It's a little shortcut here button or in settings and searching for DeX. But basically what DeX is, it transforms your phone into a desktop-like experience. And with this new Snapdragon 8 Elite processor, boy does it really work great for having a desktop app from playing games to photo editing to even video editing. So what all do you need? Well, you can go very extravagant and get a dock, have full-size keyboard, mouse. But in this video, I'm going to show you how little you need to actually have a working DeX desktop solution. So really all you need is four things. One, the phone. Two, a cable, very specific cable. HDMI, and this isn't on brand, so this is like a Walmart brand, but most HDMI to USB-C, and then a display. It could be a portable display. In this situation, I'm going to plug it into my desktop monitor, and a keyboard and mouse. And you can go as small form factor and portable as this. A fold up full QWERTY style keyboard with a little trackpad. Or maybe you could get a little bit bigger device that folds and just a keyboard and get a separate full size or mobile mouse, whichever you prefer. Same thing with portable screens. There's a lot of different portable screens that fold, that have stands, that have 17 inch 4K to 17 inch. 1440 to a little 10 inch screen you have a lot of portability options to get almost a full full desktop type solution With anything DeX. So what do you do at this point after you have these items? All you do Take this USB-C cable Plug it into your phone The only other thing you have to do is of course make sure HDMI side is plugged into your display. So let's get this plugged into the monitor. So now with the cable plugged in, we can see that DeX mode is enabled because the light or the symbol is enabled. And we can go in here and we can also see that DeX says exit DeX now. So now let's look at the monitor and start customizing and seeing all the things we can do with DeX. So at this point we have our little portable keyboard attached to our, our device and you can see that there should be a little mouse cursor moving around. You should be able to see that. So really what all can you do at this point? Any app that you would essentially open on your phone you can open now on this. So we can see here these all act as windows so we have the option to even move these around and let's say we want to full size screen it with settings all the dex features will be right at the top so samsung makes it really nice to gather all the dex information as we see right now dex is at fhd for me which is 1080 depending on your type of monitor you have uh, the resolution you have there are options even with good lock to even get up to 4k uh, you can come in here, you can adjust your wallpapers, you can choose from your gallery, you can choose just the custom wallpapers they have. You can customize taskbar settings to even screen zoom and font size. So you have a lot of flexibility of using this desktop-like solution. So let's say Play Store. You go into the Play Store and you want to look for an app. 
and you can just go through the menus like you normally would on your phone looking for an app. Don't really have a lot on here yet because I'm just getting used to this device. But I wanted to really go through some of the Samsung features. You have Bixby, Smart Things. You could even access files from this. Works like a full fledged file explorer, like on a regular Windows machine. You can access images, videos, files, documents. You can install Word on here if you wanted, since that's an Android app you can get. Uh, you can use a built in notes app like this one. You can come down here and make a new note and make a document. So that is Samsung DeX. There isn't a lot of overall changes with it over the past couple years. They have improved the wireless casting with, I believe it uses Miracast as the protocol, so there's better connection over DeX wirelessly. I always recommend using DeX with a cable just to have that better connection. You will notice a little bit of lag if you don't use that. But of course the big piece is the improved processor. The Snapdragon 8 Elite improves DeX overall. And I just touched a little bit on what you can do with DeX. Imagine even using DeX to use like a remote control protocol like remote desktop or some other desktop solution to get to a full-fledged desktop PC like a Mac or a Windows PC. And at that point you have a full-fledged desktop solution that looks like you're on your computer at home, but you are, let's say, in a hotel, and this is the only thing you have to pack with you is your phone and a couple cables. It's a great solution. I really wish other Android phones would implement a desktop solution. Hopes that one of these days, Google just implements some desktop full-fledged system into the Android OS, and then every type of phone has something similar to it. If you have any questions about DEX, leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.